the family of the 11-year-old allegedly murdered for ritual purposes by the two teens say they may be forced to take drastic action to pile pressure on the state to expedite action and deliver justice. It follows a second adjournment of the case before the Ofako District Court in two weeks because the judge handling the matter has resigned. Kamala Adum was in court today. It's been a second straight adjournment of a matter involving two teens who are being tried for allegedly murdering an 11-year-old Ishmael Abdallah for ritual purposes here at the Ofako District Court. Now, according to information we're gathering, the presiding judge, His Worship Samuel J, has resigned. And so there is a need for another judge to be posted to handle this particular matter so the procedures can continue. This is what is agitating family of the 11-year-old who say the more the case delays, the more the family continues to grieve. Spokesperson Sameda Kalilu says the family may be forced to take some drastic action going forward if the delays continue. We are more than disappointed that um, for the second time running, um, we are told the judge is not available. And again, we're giving two weeks the last time that the Attorney General's advice was going to come. Certainly, we are not oblivious of the fact that cases of this nature are supposed to be handled at the High Court. And so to the extent that the Attorney General's advice would have to come before the case is directed at a particular High Court. And that is also delaying. I think that uh, the system is failing us as a family. We think that we need to take uh, a much more drastic step as a family than what we are seeing today. We ever trusted the system, we felt that the police were competent enough. But as of now, we are giving a reason to suspect that um, our thoughts were wrong. He tells TV3, father of a late 11-year-old has to endure several risks traveling from the OT region every two weeks to be here to follow proceedings. The more the case delays, the more we go through emotional torture as a family. My brother-in-law, who is just by my left, who is the father of the late Ishmael Abdallah, lives in our hometown in the Crouching Contact District of Oti region. Every two weeks he has to travel to come see to the finality of this case. The risk involved, the cost involved, and all other things that we are still losing. We've lost our son already, yet the state is not doing things right that as early as possible the family will see to the finality of this matter. So we are more than disappointed. The family says it is also disappointed the Attorney General's office has not written back to the police prosecution on the advice on how to proceed with this particular matter. The police have told us the advice from the Attorney General's department is not available. Number two, to the extent that the judge is not available and on two weeks, that is about four weeks now, no judge to even move the case further. If there is no conspiracy theory to do injustice to the Ishmael Abdel Lamensa family, then we think that this cannot be accepted by any well-meaning people in any democracy. The case has been adjourned to June 16, so hearing continues. But family of the slain 11-year-old say between now and the 16th of June, they may take a series of actions to pile pressure on the powers that be to fast track the trial to ensure justice is served. Komla Adum, TV3 News of Accord District Court.